three, two, one, action. Good morning. It's morning. It's now officially going to that time zone change where we have to say good morning and good afternoon. <coughs> but today's class, what Jerome is going to do is he's going to, um, he did a concert. For those of you who aren't aware, I know many of you were, it is um, Through the Years concert last Friday. And what he did is he programmed some presets in the instrument. And he thought it'd be a clever idea to go through each of the songs and kind of just tell you some of the things he used. Not yet, Jerome. You accidentally hit the pedal. Yeah. That's a I great feature, by the way. I turn them off. It, that's a great feature. Point, 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 point. Point to that feature you just did. Point to that <coughs> For those of you who have it, there's a feature that says pedals off. You can do that so you don't accidentally... <coughs> Um, hit the bass pedal and get that noise. If you do not have that feature, uh, you want to see us right away. We can sell you one of those features. <laughs> it's a pretty expensive feature, but uh, it comes with a free organ. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm recording this. No, scratch that. Anyway, so what Jerome's going to do is he's going to, he's not going to play the entire song. He'll open up with one of the songs, but he's going to show you in each of the songs that he did, uh, just some of the, the some of the features that he used to get that set up. Now, as he's teaching the class, I'm going to write down notes or, and or type notes. I would encourage you to do the same. And then in about two or three days, these notes will be available on our Patreon site <coughs> along with the presets. I'm going to upload his presets to there as well. Okay. So, with that said, Jerome Johnson, go ahead and open a little number and take it away. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, there's, I want to do this because uh, there's two ways you can set up presets. I normally use presets for, uh, set up a uh, memory for just one song and change the other buttons myself, which allows me to put 10 songs in the A through 10, A through 10 button, okay? But it's one thing you have to do before you get started. And what I did on Blue Skies, I said, I'm going to be using my Viper Trim, which is going to be um, assigned to my right foot switch. And I don't know whether you can see this or not, but how you do that, you're going to go to your Feature Clear button, and you're going to scroll down to your foot switch, um, and you're going to find the word, you on, you're going to see left foot, right uh, switch, and right foot switch. I touched the right foot button, and put on the Viper trim. Just scroll down till you see it. Because normally you're going to have FX there. I don't use FX on that right pedal. I can use my thumb on the touch bar for the right, right pedal. So that that right pedal, I can assign it to do anything I want to. And I know I use the Viper trim a lot because I want to hear the organ, uh, the old Hammond organ do this on me to do that whirly sound, okay? So I always keep that on. Now, once I signed it on the on the right on the right foot on the first preset, I don't have to change it throughout the rest of the presets because it's still going to be there. It's going to resave it again, even when I go to to number two and save something else for a song. Okay, we'll show you that later. 
Uh, and what I used on this particular song was very something simple. I did not use uh, the genius button on here. I just had the bass and drums on. That was enough. You see the genie in an orchestra plus? I just turned them off, okay? I didn't need that for this song. What I also did was I turned on the piano on the top right, piano on the bottom left. I also turned off the memory because I wanted to control the piano on the bottom left myself, okay? You can control it yourself instead of it sustaining. It just give you an idea. Now, if I had the song on, and and the memory, if I had the song on and the memory, you're gonna hear something in the left hand that's kind of odd. See how that piano sustained? I don't like that on some songs. I like it on if I'm using a vocal or if I'm using an organ sound, but not the piano or the vibes. And, and sometimes the acoustic guitar, they don't really sustain that much. You want to make sure you control them with your own fingers. Whether it's one finger or three chords, it doesn't matter. You still can do it, okay? I'll give you an idea on the second song of that. Another thing I did uh, on the bottom right over here, I put on the bottom right, I put on the saxophone. And that's it. So I saved it. And how you save it? Memorize, alphabet, the number with style and with transposer because this song I did transpose it down a little bit to kind of I wanted to sing it and then you go back and hit the memorize button now all those settings I just done they are already ready to go <coughs> excuse me <coughs> um, I've had my two shots it's been about uh, three weeks since I had my two shots, okay? So I don't know how my mask on today. <laughs> and I feel good, okay? For some reason, I feel really good by just getting that second shot, you know? At any rate, all those settings now are ready to be saved in all of these numbers here, 10 of them. I might have to make one or two changes along the way and maybe change something back or whatever for the left. So you don't have to worry about that. That first preset for that first song is is the most important one. And that song was all of uh, 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 Blue Skies. The rhythm I used was Bunny Hop, which is on the Prestige Plus, and it's kind of exclusive to the Prestige Plus and maybe, uh, I think, the Marquee and uh, the Aria. Uh, if you don't have the Bunny Hop, use the Swing, okay? Swing and Sway is good, all right? So essentially, for the song Blue Skies, you use Bunny Hop, you had a piano on the t upper keyboard, a saxophone on the lower right, and you had the genius in, genie in orchestra plus button off? Or yeah, just, yeah. You just can, the orchestra plus? I love just orchestra plus. I use oh, okay. the genie on, so. Okay. Yeah. So you, you don't have to make it so busy, Rob, but some of these, <laughs> some of these are a couple of kind of too busy. Well, that was a simple one. That's very simple. Now, I got all, I already saved those presets in A, and what was so nice about this, Friday I loaded these presets and saved them in the Oregon, and when I got here this morning, they were still there. I went, yeah, I don't have to pull up my <laughs> USB yeah. again, okay? They were already there. So remember that. Once you lo save your presets, they're in there. Let somebody come over and play your Oregon and change something on you, okay? So they're in there for good, unless your power will go out. Then you might have to reload them. But for the for the most part, they're in there. The next song is Crazy. And watch me go to Crazy. Ha, ha, ha. Number two. I'm set, except for what I did. A little bit different to save in number two. I put on the uh, piano on top, which I already had on. Uh, so that was already saved, okay? Uh, but I changed the AOC. Automatic chord, okay, I changed it to country. Because country, uh, that's the kind of a flavor of Pastor Count Klein there. The rhythm I use for that is 50s Love Song. Everybody got that one on, on that I see on the screen. You got 50s Love Song all the way down to, I believe, the uh, SE5. <laughs> right, Robert? Oh, yeah. Yeah, SE5. And so everybody got 50s Love Song. And I also didn't bring on the Orchestra Plus until later to like the chorus in the song. So if you're going to hear this, oh, that's one thing I did different on this. On the left side, I put in the vocals. And I made this one. Now, this particular one, I did use the memory. Now you know what, why? What left side are you referring to? The left bottom. Oh, the lower left. Lower left bottom, okay? 
I did use vocal, but I wanted that special effect because I was listening to the original song on this, and uh, what they did uh, when she was singing it, there was some uh, a group of vocal girls and guys in the in the background doing this particular thing on the introduction. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna sing this one so you can kind of hear what I'm doing with my left hand. Because you could do it with one finger if you have the memory on. Oh, wow, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Crazy for crying. Crazy for crying. I'm crazy for love in you. You hear that effect you get? You get that, that little choir in the background. So if and they have these setups, they're... If they have these setups, they're going to be able to sing the song like that. Too. Well, I also use the, I also use the piano in the right hand for the medley. Oh, medley, okay. And when you hear the medley, the piano needs to be raised an octave, otherwise it's going to be a little muddy. Listen. And through the song, when I'm doing the uh, the verse, I just reached up and actually turned off the Lord Genius where the vocals was. And I, I didn't use the vocals that you see on your organ because I wanted to go to a special vocal setting. And it's under the, uh, if you turn on your Lord Genius voice, it's called Extra Choir Itopia. It's kind of a more realistic choir sound than your vocal ensemble on the bottom. And how you find that? Just tap on the genius button, lower genius button, left side, scroll till you find extra choir itopia. I don't know why they call it that. Rob, you have an idea? Itopia? I don't know, but that'll be a good homework for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a good way you can start learning your organ real quick, okay? And if anybody gets finds out the real the reason why it was called choir itopia, <laughs> um, we will give you <laughs> lifetime free <laughs> lessons. Okay. Oh, wait, they already have that. They already got like we'll, that. We'll double it. I <laughs> double it. <laughs> okay. uh, if you, it, don't, uh, I'm looking for hands to be raised now. So uh, if you got a question on any of these presets, let me know. But you'll be able to. Well, let's stop and ask. Any questions so any far? Any questions so far? Uh, Ron, Ron, and Ron got it all. Ron and Kay got it all. <laughs> it is great. Hey, Carol Montgomery over there smiling, too. You can do it, Carol. <laughs> it's great to see you guys' faces, okay? Uh, okay, now I set that with the number two. Number three, the song was Just a Closer Walk with the New Orleans Style. Just a Closer Walk with the New Orleans Styles. Everybody plays that song, and they play it with maybe... A little gospel or, or a ballad, uh, and I think the beginner book says maybe a little country. I use surfs up the rhythm. Oh, surfs up. Surfs up, and that's what it's going to give me. It's going to give me like that New Orleans start. You know what I'm talking about? That's kind of nice, okay? Now, if you notice, I didn't have nothing on but the bass and drums, and I had piano on top, and I had clarinet on the bottom uh, bottom right. So that's what you're hearing. Very simple registration for that. I saved it in preset three because it's just for that song. When I wanted to change something, I already set up uh, the organ uh, tremolo in my right hand on preset A, so I don't have to worry about that, okay? So back up. You had surfs up? Surfs up. Okay, let me write this down. Okay. And then you did what? You turned off Orchestra Plus? Off? Orchestra Plus and Genie. Oh, I just had Orchestra the bass and Plus drum. Yeah. And a Genie. Oh, because I want to build that song. Okay. So I can reach up and touch so, those. Put as on I go. the Orchestra Plus and Genie real quick. Okay. No, turn, turn, stop it. Just press stop. Now, this is, check this out, guys. I think that I wanted to stop and show everybody this because I think that's pretty cool. Because usually when you put this rhythm on, 
and you put on an introduction. Put on intro one. This is okay. No, it so intro it one. It no. sounds like this is what it normally sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. Not and appropriate. A lot of people, <laughs> it took me a long time to figure out what what rhythm was he using, and he told me one day, "Serves up." And then you turn off the orchestra plus and genie, and then you just start it, and what yeah, do you get? I get this. This is like a combo, you know, in a nightclub. And okay? it's just a really fun rhythm. Really style. fun rhythm to use. Don't use the introduction. You don't need it for this that particular and, song. And on your lower, what did you put on your? Uh, what did you put on the upper? Uh, the upper, I got piano. Okay, upper. Upper piano. right, piano. Lower right, I put on clarinet because I'm a clarinet player. I love the clarinet on these because they I are so realistic. On the lower left, you have a what? A nice. Organ sound. Just a nice organ sound? I can control it because I took the memory off. Okay, oh, I better write that down. Yeah. It's already off because of my first setting I did, so oh, I didn't have to go back to that. It's there. No tremolo, too. J j no tremolo, but I got it on my right foot if I need it. So all those settings I did in preset one carries over when you make another preset. I'll let you make a, a, trip, a change. And the second verse on uh, Just a Close Walk, why not reach up and add the genie? Oh. Okay, now we grooving now. We, you know, we in the groove. It's a nightclub act, okay? Just a closer walk with thee. Grand Jesus is my plea. Orchestra Plus all the time. Daily walking close to me. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Dear Lord, let it be. Now, most of the time in nightclubs, you want to jam it out for somebody to have a saxophone solo, a piano solo, or a guitar solo. So that's the perfect time to go. Um, just do your fill-in. Okay, all the style there. All the style, man. All the style is so great on that. Now you can rock and roll it, okay? And do, you can use your, um, which I never use, okay? The fake it button. I rarely use the fake it button because I can do that kind of stuff. So this is a good time to rock it out. If you can't do rock it out, fake it button. That's some fancy stuff there, Jerome. I know. Now I'm going to steal your setup. All and right. And then That's all right. Claim the it be, and then I'm going to claim it to be mine. We never choke. Okay. I'm going to say, look what I came up with. I got a lot of your <laughs> stuff, too, so. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. Any questions on this one? Oh, we got a hand raised. We got a hand up. Yeah, that's like great. Oh, it's Inez. You better, be, you better give her a good all answer. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, Inez. Inez sporting her new... Hair do. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't recognize yeah. you there. What is it? Thank you. Uh, what was the, what was the name of the choir for the, the crazy? Uh, on the bottom left. It's uh, Extra Choir Itopia. Okay. Just oh, all you have to do is uh, turn on your Lord Genius, that little black button on here that says Lord Genius. Turn it on and off. I did. And your sound, and that's, whatever's in that button is going to come up on the screen. Yeah. And at that point, you get a dial, you get to scroll and find that uh, that choir because it's way down at the bottom of the list. Of, uh, uh, okay. It, no wonder I can find yeah, it. Okay. It's, uh, it yeah. It says X, so extra is way down at the bottom. So you might want to go to the top and backwards for it to get there quicker. Now, just a side note, folks. Um, the the list of sounds and genius sounds, you can scroll through them two different directions. Yes. So depending on where you're at in the list, so if you're in the S's, you know, you could scroll. If you're in the B's or A's or whatever, you could scroll the opposite, opposite direction, yeah. and you might get there a little faster, okay? Okay. Some of you can get there by quick pick, but... Hmm. Now, I'll tell you, what I've noticed so far is, even though some of these styles that you're, you're doing, some of them are on, you know, like the bunny hop is on some of the high-end models, it can still be done on most models. Like yes. you mentioned swing earlier. Um, the crazy, the 50s love ballad is on most models. Now, just to close the walk with E, you're using um, uh, Surf's Up. Mm -hmm. 
but there are some other styles that anybody has a, a style that they can use that even the basic um, standard rhythm style on some of the easy series and the SD series those styles actually work great if you don't happen to have serves up exactly and I'm writing down this stuff diligently and I'm gonna retype it up in order and I'm gonna post this on our patreon site so you can download it actually the uh, freedom 3 has a nice gospel rhythm for this uh, I was uh, amazed on how they redone that particular gospel sound and uh, uh, you can use that with that if, instead of uh, the if you got a freedom 3 out there okay uh, the next song, as Robert keep writing, this one was an easy preset. Since I fell for you, well, I already used 50s love song. All those settings is basically going to be the same. So, <laughs> I pretty much only thing I did there was just turn off the genius, a genie button. I'm sorry, the Hold genie on. Uh, because okay. I started What's with the next song. Uh, fi uh, uh, since I fell for you, that's an easy one. Since I fell for you, yeah, fell. For you. you, and the rhythm you used was a fifties love song again. Oh, you love your fifties love song. And you know, you know, I did not really have to change much at all. I just turn off the genie to start, <coughs> and as I go through the verse, I turn on the genie and the orchestra plus with the left hand. Okay, you can always right reach there. Back, okay? just, just some clarification for some of you. Some of you have a style that actually is called fifties love song. Okay. Some of you may not actually have that style, but you have it. It's not labeled that way. Exactly. Hold on. I'm going to walk over to an organ. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. Okay. So on the SD Freedom 3, it actually just says 50s Love. Mm -hmm. On the Easy Series. I think it says 50s it Love. It might song. say a similar. Let's just take, let's take a look here. Uh-oh. It's not listed on here. I believe it's. it might be called the same thing. Yeah, I think It's a so. ballad. With a what they call a triplets. Yeah. Somebody asked me what organ I'm playing on. I'm playing on a Prestige Plus. We it's been modified, and if you have any interest in it, I'm glad you asked what it is. You can give me a call here at the store. We take donations on those instruments. That's Michael Miller. He oh, says, Michael Miller. He says he has one. Oh, Michael Miller. He likes Miller. it so much he wants to buy one for his other bedroom. But Michael Miller is in, <laughs> out in Baltimore, Maryland, guys. I, I met him through this, okay, through Zoom, actually, which is a good thing. Hi, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I did something really easy on this preset. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to actually look up the actual rhythm style. Okay. That was called on what it's called on the Easy Series. Give me a moment here. Easy series, just so everybody has. Let's see. The f da, da, da. Let's go through the rhythm styles. Where are your rhythm styles? Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Come on. I thought you passed them, but I guess no. Not. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It is called. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. It's going to be on the pianist, and it's going to be on the, I think, the. Uh, rock. <coughs> easy. I think they labeled us wrong. I'll get back to you on that, folks. Yeah. If you don't want to know where it is, we'll get back to you on that. I'm going to tell you w everybody where it's at. All right, we'll go on to the next. Uh, go ahead and continue. I'm okay, sorry. so all I did well on, on, on that, I modified the tempo, basically. Uh, you know, uh, I, you guys probably heard me say this before, but since I fell for you, it's a belly rubbing song, <laughs> okay. What I mean is a slow dancing song. Uh, so if you uh, if you like it, it's I just brought the tempo down to sixty. This would say sixty one. I probably wasn't paying attention, but really nice and slow. With the organ, now this time I turned the memory on on the organ sound because I wanted to hear that and I wanted to make sure you heard this. to kind of put that church feeling on, on the left hand okay so that's a that's the eight four and two to third foot uh flutes for the left hand okay now hold on a second <coughs> watch this folks just for this purpose 
because you used this a couple times. Yeah. Let me go. I'm going to pinch and zoom. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit closer there. Not too much. I don't want to move the camera. All right. So go ahead and point where you're at. I'm right here. So on the lower left, as you can see there. Three green lights. It says, <coughs> what did you say? Eight, eight four, and two, uh, two, two thirds. Third. Okay. okay. Now, he, he, I noticed he used it in a couple of the settings. Sometimes he had it on, on with a tremolo without. Go ahead and hit your chord. Okay. Now you hear the chord sound? Tremolo is not going fast. And of course, now, you know, do, just, just so they could hear it, turn the lower tabs button off in the middle. Now listen closely. No, not that one. The one right in the middle. The red one. Okay, you can hear the difference there now, right? Now go ahead and turn it back on. All right. It's very subtle. And it's intended to be that way. Sometimes what these guys do when they're playing, they think we're doing some fancy button pushing. They reach over to the left, and there's a button that's labeled Viper Trim Slow and Fast. Go ahead and do that for them real quick. So you can do it with your hand. You hear it? Slowing? It's very subtle. Yeah. Make sure they hear it. I'm going to put the one foot flow down. Now. All right, now I backed up the camera. So we're over to the left. Go ahead and point where you, because I didn't have the camera. So over there, there's there's these things that say slow, fast, slow, fast, lower, upper. So those basically make the sound of that tremolo slow and fast. And a lot of times when they're playing, I just heard Joe do it in a concert a few weeks ago. They'll actually hit the slow while they're playing, and then yeah. they'll put it back to fast while they're playing. And it's a very common thing that artists and uh, organists used to do over the years. It's yeah. a nice little bonus oh, tip. Oh, the, oh, the old Hammond players or the old B3 players and C3 players and Hammond Lagante, they had a little switch here on the right. And some guys, used to, like my buddy in the Army, he took it and modified it and put it on the floor with a on and off switch so he could hit it easily. But what I did, I just assigned this to the right, to the right foot switch. So I don't have to leave my cord to go over there and hit slow or fast. I just keep doing my foot like this. On, off, on. Oh. I just kept doing that. So I don't have to reach over here, Robert. That's a good one thing. I, you know what? I, and you know, I set the setting up in the first preset. And That's you want to know that. something, Jerome? Yeah. That is a really awesome feature. Yeah. I'd it really is. like you to teach that, but you can't do it right now, can you? Well, yeah. No, you can't. I can't? No, because you're going to teach it in the class that you're going to do next month. Okay. Jerome just volunteered, everybody. <laughs> you heard it live right here on Zoom. Jerome just volunteered to do uh, one uh, of the A or SU classes. And he's going to, and anybody with those foot twitches, even if you have an EX or EY, he's going to teach a class on how to do that. Yeah, foot switches. On the foot switches yeah. and how to put that in there. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to wait till that class, I would, I encourage you to contact your personal assistant and say, yeah. how did you, how do you set up that, uh, what, what did you do, the tremolo? The, the tremolo, yeah. The tremolo, on the foot switch. The and most people don't even know what these buttons are over here for. That's the, for you to do it manually in the left hand. But if you want to, you don't have to, just assign it to the right foot switch or the right uh, touch bar. Cool. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. <coughs> cool. Whichever, whichever is comfortable for you. I can't wait to see that class. Yeah. And that's, um, well, you know, we're getting there, Robert. Um, we're what down. sound did you use on the upper keyboard? Uh, I think I used, let's see here what I got here. I'm not sure. Look like I used strings in piano. Now, is that the one you sang? Yeah, I used strings on this. Okay. It so was, you know. this setup, folks, if you're making a note, he designed this setup as if you were going to sing, sing the song. It, right. But most people aren't going to sing the song. They may want to play it. So if they played it, what kind of nice setup? Uh, you, you can still use strings. Okay? Look at this pretty sound. And you can use this for anything. Play, uh... Yeah. You can play songs like At Last. Is yeah. that what that is? Huh? 
At last, you can at play last, yeah, Memory from from last, Cats. Okay. You can do yeah. Can't All Fall in Love, Unchained Melody. So use your strings. And what I was using on the strings was, yeah, I used a, uh, I think I got a harmony on it with it. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> Country AOC was on with it, so it kind of like fills in uh, a couple of more notes in the right end with one finger. So that's a great little feature to use there. Whew, I'm really writing down a lot of stuff here. But it wasn't hard, Robert. You know why? Because I had nothing to write. I know, yeah. but I'm having to write all I'm this down. The strings, I'm going to start singing. You know? I'm going to charge you for this. <laughs> all right. All right, number five. Um, are we getting there? We're almost halfway there. I just called to say I love you. Oh, that's nice of you. Oh, you mean the song? Oh, <laughs> I thought he was calling to say I love you. Now, you could pick um, soft and easy and put the tempo up to um, about 118 or 116. I, I got it at 116, but I'm using old time rock and roll ultra style. Oh, my goodness. Let me write that down. Okay. Old time, time rock, rock and roll. Rock and roll. Because it makes Shirley wants to dance in here. <laughs> With altar style? Altar style. Yeah. Now, hold on a second. Th I would never have thought of that style for that. So you yeah. have that rhythm on now? I got that rhythm on now. Turn off the altar style. Turn off the altar style. Put it's on the intro. It's intro. And let's, let's, this is what it normally sounds like. All right. Yeah. That's a fun style, but you can stop right there. But, you know... Most people, when, when they hear that introduction, the way it is, oh, go ahead and play it without the altar style. Go ahead and hit a chord. Okay, now go ahead and stop that. It, it, most people wouldn't think, I just called to say I love you, because I, I think of it that way. So this is, I'm glad I'm writing this down here. Mm -hmm. So now what does it sound like with the altar style? With the altar style. Now, remember now, you're going to hear something. I'm going to turn off the uh, uh, my golden harp just right now so you, you, you know, so it won't come in with it without... <laughs> I put on the golden harp. The golden harp actually with the uke ukulele on the song gets close to the original recording. Oh, okay. wait a second. So you put on golden, golden harp. harp. Yeah. Now I'm looking at the screen there. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. These okay. people can't see this. Let me let me walk walk over here. This is an interesting little uh, concept on uh, how to use your golden harp. Now, why don't you pull that off? The, the rack, pull the rack off for a second. Just push that in. So I'm going to zoom in on the window. Never use it anyway. Okay. Okay. I know. But <laughs> all right. So if you can see that, I don't know if you can see that, but <clears throat> a lot of you have golden harp and all the patterns. He looks like he's using up only. It up says. Only. How you get it now, Robert? You got to hit the more button. Just put on the genius button under the harp. Turn on your more button, and you'll see the patterns you can use. Okay. Okay. So when you touch the genius over there by the golden harp. Go ahead and push Genius off again. Okay, you're probably just going to no, get... No, the Genius button. Okay. So turn that on. Okay. No, turn the turn Genius, genius button. button on, okay. So I don't know if you see the screen there, but yeah. you'll see I'm zooming in. It says ukulele. So you can once you touch that Genius button over there in the Golden Harp, you can scroll through the sounds. A lot of times it defaults to a piano. Or harp. Or, I mean... Um, Usually, it's always a harp sound, but the genius is always defaults to a bell-like sound a lot, yeah. vibes. You can change that, and he put ukulele. And then the the more button on the ge on the golden oh, harp. Go ahead and push the more. Before we go there, oh, you, uh, you know you're gonna s you're gonna see ukulele. You're gonna see any voice, but you gotta touch it to scroll. You see your numbers come up, and just scroll, and you'll find all the other sounds that you can assign to the uh, golden harp. See, I found. Uh, ukulele for you guys who got the numbers, one one one, and for you guys who got the uh, uh, um, quick pick, just go to the use, okay? <laughs> you get that quick for quicker. There you go. All right, boy, you're giving away all your secrets. Oh, lots of secrets. Pretty soon there. they're going to be Sharon oh. Hanks is going to do a concert and replace <laughs> you, right, Sharon? <laughs> She's laughing. She says, "Oh yeah." Okay, and then when you touch the more button. On the genius over there, on the Gold, genius. then it comes up and you select the pattern. Mm -hmm. I'm going to scroll back out so they can 
So that's how he did that, folks. And I just saved it in preset five. Oh, my goodness. around with it okay and you got that that you got those features on the starters and all the way up even a royal i think uh oh, maybe not models. the right pedal a lot of models got that uh that those patterns that pattern in there especially old time rock and roll and yeah. most organs even our little small models have a rock and nice R little rock and roll exactly style. Uh, if you can't do that if you don't have that just go to soft and easy and bump up the rhythm to about 110 yeah. i mean 116 it's still rock and roll Okay. All right, the next song here. We're doing pretty good here, Robert. You are. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot to, to tell you what instruments I had in the right hand and the lower right. Because Stevie Wonder plays this harmonica a lot. I put uh, left hand upper right. I mean, uh, yeah, upper right. What did you say? I mean, lower right. You said you put left hand upper right. No, I meant, <laughs> I meant lower right, okay? What did you lower, put in the lower right? Uh, harmonica. Okay, let me write that down. Because he got to play the harmonica. Okay, lower right harmonica. Yeah, and the upper you have a you use a piano a lot. I piano all that, and I have the strings ready to go when I want to go. I push them both together and I hit. So I, I a piano a string was I, it wasn't a sound at first. I just put it on before I saved it, and I actually when I when I saved it, it was ready to go, right. It was already, the string was already ready to go. And I have string. Just hit both the buttons with these two fingers, okay? These two fingers and the piano. You can reach them. They're pretty easy to do, okay? One is going to blink and one is going to be uh, solid. One is blinking mean that it's a little bit softer than the one that's solid. Okay? Let's go on. That's some more I can do on that particular setting, the uh, uh, blinking red light. But since we went to the... Um, Marquee and the uh, 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 Rialto and the Aria, they got rid of the blinking light. So if you don't, don't uh, if you got those instruments, or uh, even on the, what's that over there, Robert? Inspire. Inspire. You don't have to worry about the blinking light anymore. All right. Uh, which makes it easy to sign your voices. All right. The next song was um, uh, number six. And I believe it was On Top of the World. Now, this was pretty simple also. All I did was hit Jug Band. I turn off the Orchestra, pl orchestra Plus, left the Genie on. You can you do it either way. You can leave both of those on because Jug Band is just a fun rhythm to play, all right? Only thing I did in the right hand was use electronic piano with the country ALC on. So all I got was this. It's just a fun rhythm to play, guy. Okay, so yeah, you don't have to do much with it. It's good, just like it is. All right. I started with just the GD on, and I just reached up to put the Orchestra Plus if I wanted to more on. But other than that, the right hand is. Uh, I didn't even change the um, harmonica. I just left it there just in case I want to use it. So you know, I didn't do much with that rhythm. It's just fun, just like it is. Uh, if you don't have the jug band on your instrument, you need to see me quickly. All right, about number seven, Robert. Any wait, questions? wait, you're supposed to go hint, 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 wink. hint, hint, Hank, and wink, you're wink. supposed to wink, you know how to wink? Yeah. Wink at him. <laughs> oh, there you go, that's a blank, but that's all right. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, number seven is going to be of uh, everybody's favorite, Frank in the Count, and a Frank in the Count I did is had to be you. You don't have to do much to Frank in the Count, but maybe start with just the Genie Plugs first. Now, one thing about Frank and the Count, I like to use the drum variation. If you don't use the drum variation a lot, this is perfect for Frank and the Count because it gives you the Congo drums in the background, you know, the bongos. It's kind of really neat. Here it is without. Now, watch the, the guy from uh, South America come in and start playing the bongos. Ba boom boom 
that's a fun little ex. You know, I mean, he doesn't get paid much for that, but <laughs> it's kind of fun for to hear hear him do it. Because if you ever had a Congo uh, uh, extra percussionist in your band, that's what they did. They played the maracas, the tambourine, the bongos, the congos, you know, and that just gave a flavor, more flavor to the drum section. And it's kind of neat because it's, it actually grooves there. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found somebody new. I used the piano. You can use the piano for your uh, um, lead line in the right, upper right. And if you want to use the clarinet or saxophone or trumpet, Lewis trumpet, in the bottom right, you can. I clarinet player. I'm a clarinet player, so let's do that real quick. Just hit the clarinet button. You have to get into that jazz mode then. So put a cigar in your mouth, okay? Put a brandy in the left hand and just sit back and groove to the music, okay? <laughs> that's a fun that's a fun rhythm to use. Frank in the count. And um uh, I'm gonna leave it there. And uh, so uh Disney the Disney song on this one, uh, the samba comes up, but not with the um it pr you probably can get there quicker than I, what I did, okay? You probably can go to the, the Latin presets and find it. Let me just see here. I didn't even do that. I just did it my way. Let's see here. You got marimba, you got mariachi, steel drums, and piccolo. Well, they did, all of those did not fit my taste, okay? So what I did was uh, I added the marimba and the steel drums together. I use samba at 110. You use the samba rhythm? Yeah, the samba rhythm. Samba. And you're going to find the samba rhythm under Latin 2. At 110 tempo, okay. 110 tempo. And I put in the, <coughs> um, let me hit it again. So I put in the um, A8. Eight. Oh. I put in the steel drums there. Oh. <laughs> might want to just go to your Latin if you don't want to do that. Just hit your Latin uh, category presets. Doing anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just doing try, anything. Try, try whatever you want there, okay? Let's try them out. Oh. That was the closest one. That was the closest one, but it's just a still, still drums by itself. I went to the Bahamas once when I was working for the competition down in Florida, and the steel drum group that I saw they had the they had uh, the steel drums and the marimba, and they were good too. They get, had that Latin flavor. As soon as you get to the close to the hotel, they pass you a drink. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> and you forget about the music. <laughs> All right. That that's very simple, you know. That's a very simple rhythm. You don't have to change it. You already got other presets already saved. Whatever you had saved in the previous preset, don't worry about it. Leave them there. Number nine, and we're getting there, Robert. Oh my goodness! This one is I use this a lot too because Robert always asks me, "What rhythm I use on your slow songs?" And a lot of my belly rubbing songs, I call it. Uh, well, I use uh, the <laughs> <laughs> I use the gospel. <laughs> I shouldn't use that. Okay, <laughs> I used the go soft gospel on that. Well, what did you use the gospel for? What song? Oh, uh, I used it for "Have I Told You Lately." Oh, yeah. Oh, have I told it, you lately? It, it, pretty much any slow song works with that. Okay. He got a little theme going on here. Yeah. I just called to say I love you. <laughs> have I told you? I think he's trying to ask for a vacation, guys. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, you can go on vacation. All right. <laughs> I use that, and I just started off with the genie first. I always uh, probably uh, use the tempo that's on there or adjust it to 60 or back up to 80. It varies on the mode I'm in. 
And I always have a little organ sounds in the bottom left. And this time on the organ sounds in the bottom left, I really want to sound like a gospel church. So I put on the one foot flute in the left hand, all right, with the eight and four. Uh, we was talking about the flutes in the left hand, okay? And you're going to hear this. And again, you're going to hear this when I do my foot to the left and right. Now, I want to have that Floyd Kramer type piano in the right hand also, so I use the country setting for that, okay? A country OC for that. And you get a nice little Floyd Kramer. Just remember this. On your country setting on piano, you must, I won't say must, I recommend that you shift the octave up one, okay? I never want to say must do this on any song because these are just A ways of doing stuff. Uh, it's going to be up to your ear, but to me, uh, if I don't have the uh, AOC, I mean, if I don't have the piano when I'm using the AOC and I'm playing in the same register or the same octave that it that is assigned to, it's muddy. It's muddy to my ear, so I always shift it. I'll give you an idea. Here is down an octave. I'd rather have it here. Of course, in the, in the right hand, you can lower that if you want. I think I had the left hand just a pitch louder. But you know, all you have to do is reach over and hit lower volume down a little bit, uh, and you'll have it. Uh, you can adjust it. That's better. song to play it makes you feel like really playing makes you feel like really playing it in the uh in such a soulful soulful way it makes you get chill bumps through you when you're playing the harmonica and solo and stuff i see a hand raising i think i think it was joe white no. was that you joe white okay i'm sorry that was your natural hand that wasn't the uh <laughs> okay oh. great <laughs> okay have i told you late now the um uh, <laughs> the last one is kind of funny because we did all of me I put it on Franken count, but Robert um, changed everything when he started playing. So ask Robert. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I don't know. You just start. You start changing buttons everywhere. There when we start. When well, I start singing it, okay. I'll let you to explain the, that, okay. The fact is, is, he put me on the spot and didn't tell me I was going to play. <laughs> he just said, "Let's play this one, Robert." He's gonna... <laughs> I'll give you the tempo, Robert. One sixty one. That's it. And I think I had to be on or something. But you, you did your own thing by the no, time actually, you got there. I, I used to set You use that? You just set up? Okay. The only yeah. thing that I did okay. is, um, yeah, you had a clarinet on the lower right? Yeah, I did. I, I used your setup. Oh, good. I did use your setup. Awesome. You know, I'm so proud of See? you, man. <laughs> I didn't change anything. Clarinet, lower right, and that's basically it. I still I have played to. A, I played a few wrong chords. So the, the song <laughs> is All of Me. Uh -huh. Okay. And you had it at tempo what? I had it at tempo uh, 161. 161? Yeah. And you gave me a piano on the upper? Yeah. I noticed that was a common theme. And uh, well, I had to. Can you tell everybody why you, a lot of times in many of your songs, you have the piano? Because sometimes I'm singing it. Um, then that's and it's a great uh, and that you know, was, compliment. That's what I thought. And I wanted people to know if you notice a common theme with a, a lot of his setups, is he tends to use the piano a lot because it's a good accompaniment sound when he does sing. Because, you know, he sings throughout uh, his concerts on many of the songs. So he'll have a tendency of setting up the piano from time to time to make sure that... Um, um, it complements the voice a lot exactly. better. Exactly. And yeah. then on the lower right, you had what on the lower right there? Clarinet. You had a clarinet. That's my, solo, that's, that's my guy who wants to step out front and do his thing. Got it. Especially if you start... See, if you start on Franken Count without the alto style on and memory... It's a foxtrot. It's actually a foxtrot. Listen. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Backwards, the other way around. Uh, it, all the style is a foxtrot. Boom, 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 
all of me. Why not take all of me? Which is fine, especially with a lot of your swing stuff. But when you get into the groove of it, you need to do this. You got to swing it eventually. I don't know why they did that on this instrument. They there put is, the alto style as the foxtrot, and there's another and the normal little, as a swing. So. And there's another little potential trick with that. Go ahead and put on that alto style. Make it the, the foxtrot. Yeah. Now watch what happens. Push auto bass too. That helps. Yeah, but the drums is still yeah. kind of a thing. So I like using it in reverse. I, I think so what's the moral <laughs> of the story is if you have auto bass, <laughs> one and two, alter style drum variation, a lot of times by pushing those buttons, it'll change, take these styles and give it a nice swing feel yeah. or give it a foxtrot feel or a feel that you may not normally be accustomed hearing. And I've done many, we've done many classes on this, but it's a great thing. If you have those buttons, push them. Uh, one thing I wanted to say about the, the uh, Foxtrot and the swing, I was an old Army band band director, and I, I led the stage band a lot for, the, for about seven years. When you tell the drum and the bass to swing it, that's what they do. They start walking the bass and riding the cymbal, okay? If you tell them to switch to Foxtrot, then it's like a mm, boom, a boom, a boom. But if you tell them to swing it, swing it, guys, and you can walk, walk to the side of the stage and just let them go. Ding, 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 you know, let them just do all, whatever they want to. So I get I get a little, little confused why they would put that on their backwards, but that's my thought, Robert O'Kale, okay, that whole okay. situation. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that today, guys. That was well, the last hold song. On. You okay. can't go far. All right. You got to ask. You got to see if there's any questions. Oh, right? yeah. Are there any questions? It's question in uh, times right now. Oh, those are a thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> Mike. <that> good. <laughs> All right, great. All right, now, Jerome, you opened up a song. You're going to have to close with one here in a minute. I don't care. Play any, actually, just take any one of the songs and uh, play it. Now, while you're getting set up and thinking about that, let me give a couple quick announcements. Oh, boy, did I see, have to quick think about that one? <clears throat> well, I talk a lot when <laughs> I button. do announcements. announcement. Okay. Yeah, just one button, right? All right, let me, let me tell you a couple <coughs> things here. First of all, Shirley, there you are. <laughs> she's been taking notes. Uh, she's she's going to, if you want a copy of her notes, uh, it's about $500 a copy. All right. She wants to pay off her organs. <laughs> Hand printed, she says. Um, so Shirley is 91. 91, Shirley? What? How old are you? 91. She'll be 91 in May, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> okay, a couple of quick announcements. <clears throat> you think about what song you're going to play. Um, I want to tell you a couple things uh, to mark your dates on your calendars, but also I'm going to tell you how you can get these <coughs> Maybe it's good to here. see you. So don't go far. Let me just do this. Okay. Well, All right. So, folks. Numbers, sir. Someone have a question? Area code 715. No, that's, oh. that's my number, but I'm not Jake. You're not Jake? Oh, someone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, um, I, think it be, I think that might have been me saying that. I saw maybe. No, no, no someone, someone was unmuted and they were answering. That's okay. Let's go on to <clears throat> some cool things here. Okay, so first of all, um, I see Sharon. Oops. Let me take my. There's two shares now. You got okay, Sharon. I see Sharon and Mike iPad Pro. Can you see that on the screen there, where it says Patreon? All right. So, folks, you have uh, what I would recommend is today, after four o'clock, between four and five o'clock, I'm going to post this class on YouTube, and on our Patreon site. <clears throat> okay, the YouTube will be the video, the Patreon is going to have, um, oh, it looks like I gotta log in here so I can see. Don't look at my password, folks. <laughs> okay, let me see here. Uh, sign in with Google, that's how I, <clears throat> I'm actually a 
Patreon member. I actually contribute every month. There we go. So if you are a Patreon member and you go to our Patreon site, it's patreon.com slash Fletcher Music Centers. I'm going to have all of the presets and the handouts. Now, here's an example. Um, all of the classes that are on here, but uh, there is, let's go to, okay, here's an example. So Dawn had a class last week, and what she did is she put uh, an, a different introduction to Copacabana. And so when you log on to our, our site, I'm going to type up all of the notes that I wrote down today. And you'll see this little thing called a PDF. And you will be able, when you click on it, it downloads it here. And then you can open it. And you can see how she rewrote the notes. So there's all sorts of cool little things with our Patreon site. The other thing I'm going to do is put the presets. So as you can see, uh, as an example here, I'll go to, here's the the setups for Besame Mucho, Besame Mucho, and you can actually download the setups. I'm going to post Jerome's presets up on our Patreon site as well. So that will be available today. I'm going to say safely after 5 o'clock. It's going to take me time to get it all typed and downloaded and uploaded. Now, while I have you on the screen here, uh, Mike, can you see our website? Okay. You recognize that young fellow there, that handsome man? That is actually a student in Mesa. Uh, he's a snowbird, goes back and forth. But on our website, you'll notice I have all of the classes for April posted already. Now, you're going to notice right here, the week of the 12th to the 16th <coughs> is blank right now. Sometime next week, these are going to have classes and events and concerts we are going to celebrate we're going to do our first annual celebration we don't know what we're going to call it yet but the eighth marks our one-year anniversary our very first zoom class happened uh last year in april 8th was the very first so we're going to do a nice little big celebration some very unique concerts and workshops and all sorts of stuff so that week is going to be dedicated the 12th through the 16th so block that out. Stay tuned in. That'll be up and uh, posted, I would say, by Tuesday at the latest. Uh, so that's why you don't see any other classes that are posted right now. So with that said, I want to say thank you all for attending. Um, if you don't have any other questions, I'm going to have uh, Jerome do a closing number for you here. Let me switch the camera view here. There's Jerome. Before I do that, I may be say, uh, glad to, good to see you, Shirley. Oh, wait, let me see here. Mavis said, good, good to see you, Shirley, Shirley, by Mavis. I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Shirley says, nice to see you, too. All right. So, folks, we're going to do a closing number here with Jerome. He's going to play one of the songs, I think. Which yes. one are you going to do for us? I just called. He just called to say he loves you. See, he loves you all, folks. <laughs> he loves you all. See, that could be your intro, by the way. Just those notes. Okay.
round of applause. Everyone, let me do it. Very good, Jerome. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. You're Nothing really else. Good. You should uh, go to Patreon and download that. <laughs> Will do. All right. Bye. Well, thank, thank you very you much, everybody. We hope you enjoyed today's class, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you, Jerome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good class, Jerome. All right. Thank you. Fantastic. Wave, wave goodbye, and then I'm going to stop the recording. That's why I want to end with you waving. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>